what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about would Wes craven want screen 5 to even be going on we know we're getting screen 5 at some point whether it be sometime next year possibly 2022 in between now and 2022 we are expecting to have screen 5 in theaters nev campbell we're expecting her to return we know david arquette's going to be back we're waiting to hear if courtney cox is going to come back to reprise her role everyone is anticipating hayden, Pan hayden pantier we know kevin williamson is is back as an executive producer we have our script being written by a cold team of writers this time around uh which honestly is something that's been going on unintentionally for the past couple of uh screen movies screen three and screen four were unintentionally co-written by kevin williamson and aaron kruger <laughs> unofficially um uh, but getting into the topic of the video would Wes Craven want this movie to even be happening we know unfortunately Wes Craven is no longer with us he passed away in 2015 uh before he could even get to make Scream 5 now if I am a guessing man I would say yes he would want us to have Scream 5 happening I think if there is a afterlife uh, further beyond this beyond this life uh that we're in right now uh, I feel like if he's looking down on this, he would be pretty satisfied if he has any de hopefully he, I don't know how the afterlife works, but if he's been able to get a hand or be able to watch over and see how everything is going to be going on and how everything is handled or just even the idea of screen five happening, I think he would be on board with it. We know for a fact that Kevin Williamson had approached him with the idea of screen four, screen five and screen six before he had went to the Weinsteins, before Kevin Williamson had gone to the Weinsteins with the idea of the new trilogy, he went to Wes Craven first to see if Wes would even be on board. Uh, Wes Craven was on board. He was on board all the way through to, he was he was on board for Screen 5 back after Screen 4 came out. It wasn't a matter of Wes Craven wanting to direct it again or not. It was a matter of, were the Weinsteins going to actually be able to re find somebody to replace Kevin Williamson? Because a lot of people hone in on the fact that Screen 4 didn't return a profit at the box office. That really wasn't what the, the real issue is in regards to why the film didn't happen. Screen 5. Screen 5 was still very much being worked on. If you look up reports from 2013 and everything, you'll find some articles and Wes Craven himself even mentioning that he believes uh the last he heard of bob weinstein was trying to find a new writer what ended up hindering screen five not only was it the financial stuff but they basically lost kevin williamson kevin williamson went out there and he when he would get asked about screen five he said he's not doing it he said he wasn't writing the script for it so then we started having reports coming out of screen five looking for a writer the weinsteins were looking for someone to write screen five uh Wes Craven was just a director so he's just waiting for them to get their stuff together so it wasn't a matter of Wes Craven not wanting to do Screen 5 it was the Weinsteins and their inability to find somebody who I I guess they didn't find they, they couldn't find anybody who they felt would be a suitable replacement um, to replace Kevin Williamson because as far as I know Kevin Williamson had ideas mapped out for this is Kevin Williamson himself he had he already had the whole trilogy mapped out or some tidbits of where he wanted to go he wanted to take Scream 5 back to a college setting we don't he didn't really explain what he had in store for Scream 6 but he had a whole trilogy he wanted to do he he knew what he wanted to do going from Scream 4 and unfortunately that got tainted along the way during the production process and he had to rewrite the script multiple times and that ultimately led to him abruptly leaving. They brought in Aaron Kruger to retweak it and then we got that hospital ending. But <clears throat> that relationship there, losing Kevin Williamson, that ultimately is what led to us having to wait a long time and then we basically heard nothing further on Screen 5. They had lost their writer. Kevin Williamson wasn't willing to go through that again with the wine scene just basically controlling every aspect of his script not being satisfied with anything and just like i feel like i don't know if you want to call it a lot of micromanaging on set but <clears throat> Wes craven himself he was already on board with what kevin williamson had planned he wanted to see he wanted to be on he was on board he wanted to do screen four screen five screen six so knowing Wes craven wanted to do that i would imagine right now now that we have the filmmakers from ready or not on on board to actually hopefully continue what might have been planned maybe 
I don't think it's going to be exactly what Kevin Williamson had in mind, but possibly something that just the, the idea of finishing the trilogy. I, I can't say that I believe Wes Craven would be against this. I think he would be very much for it. Of course, if he was able to be here to direct it himself, I feel like he would still want to hop on board to direct Scream, Scream 5 because at the end of the day, the only reason it didn't happen is because the Weinsteins didn't make a decision to move forward with the project. They didn't make a decision. Uh, Wes Craven made it abundantly clear that he he was wanting to go through and do what Kevin Williamson wanted to do with this new trilogy. We also know that back in like 2012, if you scroll around on Twitter, you'll come across this tweet. Wes Craven himself is like basically just always he was always responding to the fans and their anticipation to have another screen movie. He responded to or he made it. He, he tweeted out something basically saying, do you guys really want another screen five? So he's he, he's aware that there was interest there. So I don't think Kevin Williams. I don't think the issue was Wes Craven didn't want to do it again. The issue came down to the fact that. Not only did Screen 4 not return a profit, they lost their writer for Screen 5. Kevin Williamson already had ideas mapped out for Screen 5. The production of Screen 4 was such a hassle for him, he walked out and they brought in Aaron Kruger to retweak his script, and that's when Aaron Kruger threw in that hospital ending. And when asked if he when asked about any updates regarding Screen 5, Kevin Williamson said he doesn't he doesn't know because he's not doing it. He flat out said he's not doing it. Now given what he said in this recent po podcast we got more context as to what was leading to that if you're working on a film and you have a script and i understand you have to answer to some people but when it be when it's becoming a constant thing where they're just never satisfied and they're having you rework something that is your vision that's not going to sit well with you because you know what you want to do uh Kevin Williamson's original script for Screen 4, I don't see a single thing wrong with it outside of a few minor things that I would have tweaked in the center uh, or in the middle of it a bit. Uh, but the a lot of people want to hone in on the fact that that ending wouldn't have worked. It's not a matter of the fact that the ending wouldn't have worked. It's the marketing. Had Screen 4 been marketed properly, there's nothing wrong with ending a movie on a cliffhanger like that. Screen 4 could have could have returned a profit uh, or a bigger profit with no issue had the marketing been better. Um, I, I firmly believe that. Don't don't blame that on Kevin Williams. Don't go around saying, well, it's a good thing that ending didn't happen. It's not it's not that simple. It's it goes more back to the marketing. Just because Kevin Williamson ended the movie on a cliffhanger. I don't want to sit down and say, oh, it's a good thing. We didn't get that uh, at the end of the day. It's not going to be the ending. It's the that that really hindered it it's the marketing it's not a matter of the fact of the ending being bad it's why didn't you guys promote this movie better so there's nothing wrong with that ending i would have much rather finally gotten to see a film where ghostface got away with it uh and wes craven like i said before he if with what's going on right now with us getting a new screen movie and the movie set to film in North Carolina and all that type of good jazz. I don't think Wes Craven is having an issue with this. If there is an afterlife, I think he would be very much for this. I think if, again, like I made mention, if he was able to be here himself, he would be behind the camera to direct it once again. Uh, or just lend any tips he could give if he's not able to direct. Because I know he was going through some things before he died. Uh, I feel like he could be very useful on set, but it's unfortunate that he's no longer here with us. But if I'm just going to say what I feel, Wes's opinion in regards to what's happening now, I think he'd be very much for it. I think he'd be for uh, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox and David Arquette wanting to honor him and move forward and learn that while he is not physically here, all the memories and everything that they learned from him on set can still be utilized under new leadership. You can take what Wes taught you guys, still be these characters that we know and love, and hopefully work with a group of people who have that same appreciation for Wes and have that same respect for him that they want to honor the films that you guys made with him. And they can craft something that's going to be a love letter to him, something that's going to be something for fans of the Scream series to always appreciate and something that can hopefully either end the series on a high note or bridge us into Scream 6, which would then, I hope, be our ending point. Uh, because, again, all my videos, I'm just talking about hypothetically what could happen, not what I want to happen. I don't want any other Scream movies past Scream 6. I wouldn't even mind if Scream 5 was the last movie. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.